Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this tutorial series, we are creating this loan calculator for our website using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Now this is our progress as of now. We have created all of this and we have also added the functionality to display these results over here. Now the last thing we need to do is add this chart over here. So here we can see we have this chart which displays the total interest and the principal loan amount. So this is what we're going to add in this video. Let's get started. <laughs> All right, here's the source code of our loan calculator. Now for the chart, we're going to be using a library called chart.js. So you can just go to this website called chartjs.org and just click on get started. And here we can see a guide of how to add the chart to our website. So the first thing we need to do is add the CDN. So let's click on this uh, link to get the CDN. I just open this in a new tab. And here you can see the CDN link. So let's click on this button and click on copy HTML. And let's go back to our code and uh, let's go to the HTML. And here we will paste the link of the CDN. So I just paste it over here just before the body ends. And then the next thing we need to do is copy this line of code to add the canvas. So let's copy this. And let's go back to our HTML and I just paste it over here in place of this chart. So I just delete this and paste it over here. Alright, now to add the chart, we have to add this code over here. So let's copy all of this from here. And we need to make some changes in this code. But first of all, we'll just copy this. So let's copy this from here and let's go to our JavaScript file. And here I'll just create a function. So I'll just name it display chart. So I'll just type const display chart. And I'll just create this function over here. And I'll just paste the code over here. Right now let's go ahead and make some changes over here. So the first thing we need to do is change the type of the chart to a pie chart. So I'll just delete bar from here and I'll just type pie. And the next thing we need to do is we need to just have two values over here. So if you go back to our original design, here we can see we have the total interest payable and also the principal amount. So let's go back and uh, I'll just change these values over here. So here I'll just type total interest. And here I'll just type principal loan amount. And let's delete all the rest of these values. And the next thing we will do is we'll just remove this line of code for the labels. And here for the data, we need to have just two values. So I'll just delete all of this. And we don't know the value that we're going to get in this data as of now. Now the value is going to change depending on the input field values. So for that, I'll just pass some variable over here inside this display chart function and we'll use that over here. So here I'll just pass a variable called total interest payable value. And we'll also pass one more variable called total amount value. Now we're going to use these variables over here inside the data. So here I'll just type total interest payable value. And we'll also type total amount value. All right, now let's set the background color. So I'll just delete all of this. And we need to have two values over here. So I'll just create the first color. I'll just type hash. And the first color we're going to have is E63946. And the next color we're going to have is 14213D. And we don't want to have any border. So I'll just delete all of this. And I'll just set the border width to zero. And we also don't need to have any of these options. So I'll just delete all of this. All right, that's it with our display chart function. Now the next thing we need to do is call this function display chart. So let's scroll down and we'll call this function over here inside the update data function. So here I'll just type display chart. And we need to pass two variables over here. We need to pass the total interest payable and also the total amount. So let's scroll down. And here we can see we have the total interest payable. So I'll just pass it over here. I'll just type total interest payable. And we also need to pass the total amount. So I'll just type total amount. All right, now let's save this and let's go back to our browser. Let's go to the website. Now here we can see that the chart is displayed over here. Now we need to reduce the width of this chart. So let's go back to our code and let's go to the CSS. And in our HTML, we can see that we have created this division with the class of right. So we will add some styles to the right. Here I'll just type loan calculator right and I'll just set the width to 50%. And now let's go back. 
and now we can see we have the correct width for the chart now let's go ahead and change this value and let's see whether the chart updates so let's change this to 7.5 and let's click on calculate and we can see that the values have changed but the chart has not updated so let's right click over here and go to inspect and let's go to the console and here we can see we have an error canvas is already in use and here we can see it says that the chart with this id must be destroyed before the canvas can be reused so let's go back to our javascript and here we can see we are creating this constant called my chart and we are assigning this new chart to this my chart constant so what i will do is i'll just remove this const from here and i'll just create a variable over here for the my chart so i'll just type let my chart now we're going to assign this new chart to this my chart variable now let's create a function to update the chart so here i'll just type const update chart and uh, here i'll just create this function over here and here also we will pass these two variables so i'll just copy these and i'll just paste it over here and to update the chart you have to just type the chart name so i'll just type my chart and then you have to type data dot data sets zero and then you have to type data zero for the first data so the first data is uh, the total interest payable so i'll just type equals total interest payable value and then we need to type my chart dot data dot data sets zero and we'll type data and for the second value we'll just type one over here because it starts from zero and here I'll just type total amount value and then you have to call a function on my chart called update now this update is a function that comes by default with the chart js library now the next thing we will do is let's scroll down and here in the update data function we will call the display chart function at the beginning and then we need to call the update chart function so here I'll just type if and here I'll just type my chart so this will check whether the my chart variable is available so if we have a chart already assigned to this my chart variable then we'll call the update chart function so I'll just type update chart and if the my chart variable is null then it means that the function is running for the first time so we will call this function called display chart and here we'll just type else and we also need to pass these variables over here inside this update chart function so i'll just type total interest payable and total amount all right now let's save this and let's go back to our browser and let's change some value over here and let's see whether the chart is updated so let's change this to 7.5 and let's click on calculate and we can see that the chart has updated now let's see whether the chart is being displayed correctly so let's go back to our original design and here we can see we have 20,000, 7.5 and 240. And we should have the same chart displayed. So we need to type these values, 20,000, 7.5 and 240. So let's add that over here. 20,000, 7.5 and 240. Let's click on calculate. And we can see we have a different chart, but the values over here are correct. So I think we have some problems in the chart. We are not giving the correct values. So let's go back to our JavaScript code. And here we have a mistake. We don't need to have this total amount value. We need to have the loan amount. So we can just delete this from here. And here I'll just type loan amount because we already have this loan amount variable over here globally. So we can directly access that. So I'll do the same over here for this update chart. We need to remove this from here and here we need to type loan amount and then here when we call this function we need to pass just the first variable so the second variable is the loan amount right now this should work so let's go back to our browser and let's change the values to 20,000, 7.5 and 240 and let's see whether we have the same chart so let's change this to 20,000 and 7.5 and let's click on calculate and now we can see we have the same chart displayed over here so it is working all right so that's basically how you add a chart to your loan calculator all right so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day